everyone, and welcome back to the Triforce podcast. We're coming at you through reams of static. Sips, how you doing? Oh, man. Can we I'm hear so you? sorry. Last week, there was no podcast because my audio was all screwed up. It was all static. It was probably the funniest podcast we ever recorded as well. We had a guest and everything. Oh, it God. Was it was alien like, intervention, I think. They didn't want to. They didn't want to get the word out. You yeah. said some things that needed to be silenced. That's maybe true. By a yeah. governmental agency. And I mean, we we had that. The Terps was on the podcast. That was the only time he's ever been on it. <laughs> only will every time he will be on it is gone. It's oh gone. my yeah, god! That's it's, it. I know. That's his, that was his one one chance to shine, and unfortunately, it's a shame. So his voice on the podcast like cracked the camera lens of Sips's audio. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, like him that's just, how that's his, how we record audio at York Towers with a camera. That's the one of the issues we have. I'm using yeah. it as a metaphor. I see. We use our phones to record. We use the... um... But I use my house phone like a landline, so it's not even that good. I just talk to someone and hope they're recording it. Sometimes they forward it on, sometimes nothing. You phone a call center and then you get them to record your call. (laughs) <laughs> and then uh, and then you phone them back later and you demand that they release that audio to you exactly. or you're going to see Freedom them. of information. Freedom yeah. of information. Oh, my yeah. God. Who's who's scared of phone call? Are we already starting? Are you already... You guys need to be better at this. Is uh, someone at the door? Is, what, 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 what? It, come first on, come of all... On. First of all, it was an alarm telling me to record the Triforce podcast. If you don't, <laughs> like, that's literally what it was. So the thing that interrupted our podcast there in the background <laughs> yeah. was... Yeah, the notification. We started, okay, that's, we started a little bit late, so this phone is... Do, do you have to have, like, emergency phones just in case, like, the school calls and it's like your child has fallen over? Yeah, of course. Um, well, God, like, yeah. I mean, what's I, I've what's been yeah? called for that exact have reason. You? Yeah. What the hell are they going to do if they can't get a hold of you? Like they just release the child into the wild. I yeah, mean. they just they just <laughs> kick him out onto the street. That's what you get for falling down. Now you got to figure it out. It's a, if, if you don't, if, if it's like it's like three missed calls and then it's like ready yep. for being released strikes, into the wild. You're literally out of the building. So I played a game yesterday, which I'm going to sort of talk about on 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 tip and stuff. But it was it impacted me. Okay. It's called One Hour, One Life, right? It's it's made by one guy. Right. And the idea is that you're you're basically you're born, okay, to another player, like another player gives birth to you. And then you're a baby and you're helpless and you have to you can't feed yourself or anything. Sure. Over the course of an hour, you grow up and then that's how long your lifespan is an hour. Okay. So you have to like find food and like build shelter. It's a bit like don't starve, right? It looks like that, except everyone's naked and like tribal and you could give birth to to more children and and try and keep them alive but it's harrowing and like hard and 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 weird and it's like sounds like a description of my penis actually (laughs) (laughs) and i don't know like it like it just you reminded me you reminded me of it when you said like just releasing children so well because that's what it sort of felt a bit like when i was playing this last night well you know back in the day that's what they did you know like it's like it's like animals too after a certain point you know without like all the modern technologies and stuff like that you know Stuff is just ready to go at a certain age. You know, humans yeah. takes a little bit longer. But, you know, back in like the caveman days, you know, you didn't live with your mom and dad in the cave until you were like 20 because no. you probably died when you were 15 of old age. They back wanted then. to keep you out of there yeah. because they wanted to get nooky and so, stuff. So you know? everything, everything was like accelerated back then, you know, like at the age of six, you had to be able to hunt and forage and stuff like that. Yeah. You had to survive um, for yourself. Yeah, that's and it. Be you had there. to pull your weight or else yeah. the um, cave community would, uh, would shun you and kick you out. You'd be like that's Howie right. Mandel that time when he was raised by wolves. The cave community. Walk like a man. I, I, yeah. I've got something to tell you guys related to all of this stuff. This is remarkable. It's, I mean, we don't plan these, but God does. And he's, he's set this path for me. Uh, set it on a platter. <laughs> Praise right. be. I, have, I, am I hearing the good news? Yeah, my, right my Mormon God has finally uh, <laughs> Hello. set the path out for me. Anyway. Yeah. So for the last week, uh, Big Mama Flax, my mum, <coughs> has been in hospital. Big Mama Flax. Big Mama Flax. She's been in hospital. Oh no! Um, oh. It's all right. She's okay. Um, she <laughs> she's fine. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about it. Uh, so she, I love how <laughs> I love how his service just went. Oh, but that's the thing about old people, right? Yeah. It's always the news you hear about them is always health related. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah, of course. It I mean, that's, that's what your life becomes is battling against uh, your your decaying body. So that's she it. had she had something wrong with her her throat, and she was retching, and it was pretty bad. They didn't know what it was. And she spent a week in hospital, 
and their Pocono, their blood testing, the endoscopy. They were going to do a colonoscopy, and she was like, God almighty. But luckily, the, the endoscopy sorted it. She had like all these scans and everything. They looked after her unbelievably well. So I just wanted to say, when I talked about the NHS uh, a few podcasts ago, and I was very negative. I think that um, was last week's, actually, that we lost the audio for. So no, nobody has any context <laughs> there, of this no, whatsoever. <laughs> there yeah. was actually the, the croggy episode. But anyway, You were worried about um, the karma. I, I just right. want to say... They did right by her, and she had, she was very well looked after, and I respect them for that. So well, maybe they heard nice. the podcast. They're on best they be fucking behavior. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think there's something wrong with the NHS. Maybe we should, you know, fix it. They're like, let's do it in two weeks, and they did. But so. you know, they took care of my mom real good, so uh, they did. Yeah, it's fine. It's they maybe are fine. it's all fine. They're so right with me. My mom has this year. She was earlier this year. She got a dog, right? Because you know she's on her own, and she she wanted some company, so she got a dog. Big mistake. This fucking thing is the worst dog I've, I've ever met like i've met a lot of shit dogs but this dog takes the fucking biscuit is it, this the dog we've heard about multiple times yes the yap little yappy one yes. that yapped at your kids and his, na his and... name is chewbacca right he's bitten right. pretty much everyone he's who, ever met who named him that is your name not is my your, mom. your, your not mother my mom. a big star wars fan no, no. no rescue dog right well, she could oh, be rescue Do you dogs. mean yeah because star wars has been going a while the, is, uh, the, the emotional not. baggage that comes with a rescue dog i don't think exactly. it's worth it so she got this I mean, thing. It, it's a warning sign if it's called Chewbacca as well. Yeah, honestly. I agree. And it's it's also a warning if it had to be rescued as well. Rescued from what exactly? Lots well, of no, trauma. Well, that's not necessary. <laughs> 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 who was rescued from who in this situation? Yeah, God. So he was. Um, he's half Pomeranian, half fucking Jack Russell, I think. Oh, so geez. it's like what a he, he's the ultimate insane dog he has he has little dog syndrome as they call yeah, it yeah yeah which is that he thinks he's a fucking rottweiler yeah. and yeah. he's in charge it's like no you're like is he like, like danny devito yeah you know, but, he's, but but not funny or friendly i don't know is danny devito an alpha male though no i wouldn't no he's like a really, nice guy right so, yeah right yeah so anyway this dog was a like, nightmare my mum couldn't come up to stay because who's gonna look after the dog and she'd have to bring the dog so she was like i'll bring him it'll be fine it was a disaster attacked our cat i think i've mentioned this before Attacked the cat, bit me, chased the kids, attacked the kids. I was like, get this fucking animal out of my house. So we finally, she goes back. She hasn't been up to stay uh, for some time. So now she's decided, because she was in hospital for a week, my sister had to look after this fucking mutt, right? And she's looking after it, living at my mum's house. She has to take time off work to help out looking after my mum in the hospital anyway. But she's also had to look after this sodding dog and it's bitten her multiple times. It's chasing her around. She wanted it to go out and do a shit. It refused to go outside. It finally comes inside and just explosive diarrhea all, all in the hallway. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are we doing with this thing? So my mum decided she's going to get rid of it. She's going to give it back to the people that, uh, that gave her the, the that rescue That she rescued dog. it from. Um, well, no, it's like a, a company or a, a charity or whatever. Right. So it's like... She, they, she actually made her sign a piece of paper saying, if you change your mind and you don't want the dog, you have to give it back to us. I assume because they want to get the fee for rehousing or whatever. But at the same time, I said, Mum, you could have just fucking given it to someone and just told this company, yeah, he died. What are they going to do? There's no check. You could say he died and we buried him at sea. They're not going to say, well, <laughs> let's check the... We uh, the yeah, we exactly. him a Viking we funeral. Exactly. Out of the torpedo bay in space. He passed away. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually the furthest man-made object from the Earth right now, thank God. <laughs> yeah, we cryogenically froze him and is, we've got to wake him up in a hundred years. I just love years. the idea that they like sign a piece of paper saying you have to give him back to us. So well, how is that enforceable? What, are you going to go to the police? I'm just, oh, yeah, he died, actually. I lied. We didn't give him away. He died. Imagine, and, uh, you, imagine yeah. they took you to court and sued you and stuff and you they lost. They could try it. Because there's no justice it. in this world. Prove yeah. he didn't die. You don't have to call up the coroner. Get the, you know, the cops come down and there's a little tiny dog-shaped chalk line. Yeah, looks like another case of <laughs> bad dog syndrome, Rob. <laughs> well, the chief's got to have my ass in a sling about this one. This is something you don't hear about, right? You only hear about the other side, right? Like of um, good good boys and you know the best boys not being looked after by bad people. You don't yeah, hear yeah. about bad dogs trying to be looked after by good people yeah, well exactly. we don't know if flax's mum is good though like my mum's my mum's a very very much an animal we're, we take we dogs. you know we're, we're just taking it for granted yeah. that she's yeah, like, yeah, yeah she might be abusing the crap out of that dog Who knows? <laughs> don't defame my mother how dare you <laughs> well i don't know her i mean it's possible right look first of Actually, all she's my mum right so therefore i'm biased i understand that but secondly look the evidence is here she made me 
How bad can she be? I what see. Kind, so what evidence have you collected? <laughs> is there some blood spatter? Have you done some science work on this as well? Um, <laughs> there was a staircase and uh, they found <laughs> some fur. Not sure. The dog had multiple <laughs> lacerations and heavy bruising in his ribs as well. We're it not was quite sure owl. what happened. It was an owl. An owl attacked the dog. Yeah. Um, listen, um, on the topic of dogs and hating dogs, I, I want to just make it clear. I don't actually hate dogs in real life. I think that most dogs are pretty cute. Uh, I would, you know, I would stop and cuddle a dog in real life if I saw one and it was cute and friendly and stuff. No problem. Uh, when I play Red Dead Redemption 2, though, it's a bit of a running joke, like in my chat and stuff that I like to kick dogs in, in the game. So like every time I see one, I basically kick the shit out of a dog and, and oftentimes kill it as well if it doesn't run away or whatever. I'm disturbed by this information. Well, I was aware see, this of it, is, but I'm also but, disturbed. But th this is the thing, though. I mean, they're wild wolves mostly, right? Or are they no, like no, pets? like most of them are like border <laughs> collies. They're like fairly friendly and stuff, and you just trample them with the horse or what? I mean, uh, a they're virtual dogs, so who gives a shit, right? It's just you know, it's it, it's it, it's in a game. I don't buy it, that argument. Would you okay. kill a virtual representation of your your father? I mean, the thing is, there's probably people in that game that look like my dad, and I've killed countless Is, is he one of the of guys that falls asleep on the table in the saloon? I walked into a shack the other day and blew away a granny sitting in a rocking chair with a <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> and chat was just that. like, ah, oh, whatever. And then uh. I walked outside and kicked a dog, and there was a meltdown. And I was, how can you kick a dog? <laughs> I just killed a granny. What are you talking about? Like, I, it, honestly, if it triggered, it makes chat, no if it sense triggered chat, to me. I would do it. I, I, like, if it triggered people, I'd do it. But. Yeah, well, that's it's part of the joke, right? Like, some pe it is funny seeing people's reactions yeah. to stuff, and it's just a fucking video game. I mean, I, so like, people are branding Did, me as yeah. some sort of psycho, and <laughs> I, I think it's unfair. I mean, in a game where you can't get to the end of that game without killing about ten thousand. You know, stormtroopers well, or men. It's a rock star game, right? Imagine it's like GTA. So we're saying that we we value dogs over hillbillies. Is that we're setting yes. up for fucking? We're setting up for like a, a game of GTA, and I just casually every we play GTA all the time on the main channel, right? And I casually like load up GTA before I I do a session, and I'm just driving around doing stuff, and I am like a fucking psychopath. Yeah, I like walk into a car, I walk up to a car, I pull the guy out. You know, he I fucking stamp on him or whatever, get in his car, run over a fucking pedestrian, shoot a guy through the head, like yeah. steal his car. Do that thing where you just drive on the sidewalk and plow through every pedestrian and sit now in the Now I'm city. telling you the story, though. Yeah. It makes you sound like a fucking, like I'm a some sort of psychopath. But that is like, to me, that is like not even... It doesn't even it doesn't register. Even, it doesn't even register on the, like, it's a on game the, mechanic the threat meter. That no, it's like That you've done it, right? a million times, so it's, you but don't But I think care. because Red Dead is more, is newer and more realistic and more sort of slow paced and different it feels and it is, I don't know it feels fresher and slightly more new and risque like like for example I played this shit game yesterday and where you know so I was born to was this was Fallout 76? This, no so I was born to this this woman right and I was like a bawling baby it's the same game one hour one life right, right. and um, and she was like she, sh she she names you right as you're born and so, so she said like you are Hope and I was like oh my god my name's Hope and when you're a baby you can only like type one letter right. so I type out like M U M, and then I type out like L O V E, and, and she's like, oh, anyway, uh, she like breastfeeds me as a baby, right? Because I can't do it. Yes, like don't starve, but but you can't like do anything. You 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 grow up, and she like comes and looks after you, and puts you by the fire and stuff, keeps How you warm and stuff. How am I anyway. the psycho for kicking dogs when you're playing this game? Sounds anyway, ridiculous. Sick. It took like it took like two minutes to get to this stage, right? And. So then I, I start feeding for myself, and I start eating berries, and I start doing stuff. Anyway. Is um, this a new I, place for hot couples to meet? In it's, just me and, it's just me and my mum there, and my gran, okay? Yeah. And um, she gives birth to another baby, and that baby, like, grows up a little bit to my little sister. And, um, and, uh, and what happens is, like... Uh, a fucking like. <laughs> and what happens is a fucking. That's a bit weird too. I okay, mean, a bear caves nearby, and the bear like savages my mum. Okay, and so she bleeds to death. Okay, and so it's just me, my gran, and my sister. Right. And my my little sister now mum's dead. Granny can't like breastfeed her, so she dies of starvation. Okay, and it's just me and Gran, and so Gran is like, "I'm going to die You're soon." You're gonna have to fuck me, 
boy. We need more money. <laughs> <laughs> we need some magical beans. <laughs> Grant's like, I'm going to have to die soon. I'm so sorry. You're such a beautiful boy or whatever. And she's like, go. you're going to have to go find a tribe for yourself. And then she died. So I fucking ran off into the um, into the wilderness. And this is only, all of this has happened in like fucking 10 minutes, right? But is right. this I've all got, the like, people are playing these other... These are other players, yes. Yeah, so other players were my mum, my grand, is and fucking the baby. ridiculous. What a game. Okay. That so sounds crazy. Is it, on, is it on PC? What a fucking... It's, it's, this is on PC. It's like 10 pounds. Made by a single man. It looks like crap, but <laughs> it's fucking man. hilarious. A single man made yeah. this game. Made exactly. by a single man. And I fucking... I fucking... Well, so I started running, okay? And I want to tell you that... I found a tribe and I fucking set up and I found a woman and we like had a baby together no, and we grew up that snake, baby. I fucking, I ran for like two minutes and a wolf just like fucking yeah. bit me on the heel. That sounds and, about right. And I slowly fucking bled to death and I didn't see anyone else and it was like just horrible. But I'm getting this game. Is it on Steam? It's on Steam, yeah. It's, it's, it's dumb as fuck and it's so fucking funny. Oh, it like, looks amazing. Man, um... It's fucking funny as fuck. Oh, it looks absolutely wank. But me tell it looks wank. <laughs> me telling you, <laughs> me telling you these stories. Some games, right? You tell people what you did in the game, and it's like listening to the most boring shit you've ever fucking heard in your life. Like they're like, oh, there's, like, there's oh, certain games like that, right? Dwarf Fortress yeah. is like that. Like, it, you so, know. so I was playing Dota, and I went top lane on Phantom Assassin, and there was this fucking noob on the off lane, and he was shit. And, but we did it without him. You know, it's like, I don't know, I don't care about your Dota game where you overcame the odds. You know, hey, whereas one of those if you're telling yesterday. someone about Red Dead and you said that you kicked a dog, you know, that is like going to fucking set everyone off. Because I, I, I remember telling you guys about this before, but like um, I saw one of those things where it was what, like a like a pro, like an AI wants to make decisions or if it's driving a car, yeah, yeah. whether it should swerve or not, right? And people were sort of programming this thing by 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 choosing their own morality, right? And so many people would be like, you know, would you swerve to like avoid a granny if you hit a dog, right? And people would be like, save the dog. The granny's had a good life. You know, uh, she doesn't crazy. need to be around anymore. It was nuts. It was absolutely nuts uh, what people would, would pick. Um, sometimes people would even pick like, a granny over like a fucking woman with a baby in a puss chair. It was, it was mental. This is why the machines cannot take over soon enough. And not only that, this is why you should never poll the public for their opinion because yeah, this who, world who is does that? filled with fucking idiots. It's crazy. Oh god. Just look just look at any any public polling that's ever taken place to elect somebody or vote for Brexit or whatever. People have proven time and time again that they're fucking stupid and hopeless and useless. Like the whole world round. It's crazy. I don't know why they keep doing it. I think I'm an asshole. I mean, I, I hate kids. We're all assholes in Agreed. our own unique ways. But I hate kids, right? I can't stand them. They're so annoying. It's because you don't have like, any. It's because you don't like have the one. the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any time I have to spend any time with Fine, anyone you know, on the, the, the thing 15, is, I'm, I'm, like, I'm the oh. same. I can't stand other people's kids as well. I think they're they're the worst. But when You'd you like have mine. your own, mine are awesome. Yeah, mine. your your own are great, but everyone else's can just fuck right off. Like I have no time for them at all. But let the cars run over other people's kids. Yeah, and that's dogs it. Yeah. And weird. grandmothers, that weird. but not mine. Random. Is, is the fucking I'll have public a divine role. bubble around my whole family, and everyone else can get ran over. I think by it's cars. like your Fine. friends' kids are okay. <laughs> Because they're like well enough, I don't know, but, but random kids and random people are just, you can see why like people aren't very kind to other people sometimes. It's, know, the, it's just... the old story that you only really notice the if you're out and about, you're not like really noticing most people. Like you're surrounded by people all the time. Most of them you just walk past them or they're on the train, you don't notice. You notice the assholes. Yeah, That's, you the, notice the, the people who like, out. who send out a, a memo in the morning to say that they're going to be unleashing themselves on the world and not queue properly and be really shitty yeah. to everybody and honk just their horn. And you know those people. guys that drive motorcycles and scooters who just think that, you know, the rules don't apply to them and they could just fucking swerve in between all the traffic and get to the front of the, the lights and stuff? I mean... Fuck me. Like, what what hope is there for this world when people like that exist? It's <laughs> you know, crazy. The, the other day I was I was crossing the zebra crossing near me and um I was standing there waiting to cross 
and a car goes he the guy i see him look at me and he goes straight across and sort of checks his rear view mirror to see if i'm flipping him off and of course i am <laughs> and then as i go to step out a motorcycle comes and he looks at me and goes straight over and then I start to cross in another car. You know the way it's two lanes, right? The other car going the other way. He fucking goes across. And I literally shouted, what are you all doing? Like, I just couldn't believe it. It was like this collective, what is happening? I, I just could not believe it. And nobody nobody paid me any attention. No, so I probably not. stood out in some people's mind. As, I saw this crazy guy shouting on the zebra crossing the other day. I'm the crazy guy in this story. I'm the sane one in this story. You're Everybody the, the, ignoring the massive the London... zebra crossing. I just, I was like, what are you all doing? Like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what is a fucking conspiracy? <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> yeah. But I, I see it. Like, it made me think for some weird reason last night. And when I was, I was thinking about Triforce, I was thinking about the old flat earthers who still uh, pop up in my, my, uh, my Twitter feed because I follow a few accounts that make fun of them and stuff. And you still see flat earth videos on YouTube. If you ever watch a couple of flat earth videos on YouTube, YouTube thinks you're a flat earther and recommends a shitload of them to you. I want to understand this. Why? So what are, what are the arguments uh, for this? Because uh, it seems crazy to me that anybody could not, not be trolling and believe that. Well, this is exactly, that's exactly it, Sips, right? Okay, because I assume any idiotic thing I hear anywhere is trolling. I, I just automatically my brain is like okay you're yeah you're yeah like I I, and, I, and I feel like internet culture exists like way beyond the internet like I I'm the same like if somebody says my, something my, really fucking yeah. stupid I'm like ah oh, he's he's trolling for sure. But like, the thing is like, I sort of have to though I, I it almost restores my faith in humanity right because trolling is quite quite good right it's yeah. quite smart it's quite funny I like it and so I assume that all these people who watch these flat Earth videos even the people who make them themselves are just very elaborate trolls. No, they're not. And I'm sure a couple of them are actually idiots. No, no, no. But a, it's a lot like, of them really I, I, I believe really it, dude. I really feel like there's no middle ground. I feel like it's like, it, on a sliding scale, it's like absolutely stupid idiot, 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 idiots. And then it goes a crossover to troll. Like, do it's, you know what I mean? Like, there's a, if it's not trolling, it's got to be a byproduct of like some, some really uh, massive narcissism, though. Like, to, to think that you somehow have figured out something that nobody else knows or believes That's or whatever. That's a big part of it. I, I mean, I've, I've read about be, this right? a lot, right? And I, I think I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a Triforce fucking catchphrase at this point, but I'm pretty sure we spoke about this before. But anyway, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep talking about it because I'm obsessed with it. So okay. th th there's a few different subsects of, of, of uh, Flat Earthers. There's the religious, like the absolute super religious. It's said in the Bible that the, God laid the earth on the pillars of the earth. So they literally think there are pillars holding up a big flat plate because you couldn't put a ball on pillars. We'd see the pillars, right? Okay. So those guys are like Bible literalists and those guys, they're, they're not even funny. It's just kind of sad. And then you've got the conspiracy nuts. So all this flat earth stuff comes out of 9-11 conspiracy theorists. <laughs> of course these, it does. Every, course. every conspiracy is born in 9-11, in pretty it, much. It really yeah. was we, like, we said this before, though, as well. Like, conspiracy theorists are more likely to believe in other conspiracies even if they're counter Because counter, it has even many if of the, the same actors yeah. as they see it, right? If the you believe that Bush did 9-11, you're more likely to also believe that the Jews did 9-11. Exactly. Despite well, and, the fact and that, that the those earth two... And all this stuff. So yeah. there's an awful lot of people that are not religious. They're not religious at all. They don't even refer to the Bible. They, they, they think that there's science behind this whole flat earth thing because right. they don't understand that stuff that you can see with your naked eye is not necessarily the truth, right? So but for example, when you look at the sky and you see a cloud and you can see, you know the way you see rays of sunlight sometimes coming from, from uh, when Heaven. the sun is occluded by a cloud? You can literally see the rays and they're very divergent, right? Uh -huh. So... They're saying this must mean the sun is really close because otherwise the sun would all be coming in the same direction if it's that far away. It must be much closer in order to spread the sunlight in that sort of divergent pattern. It's not true. It's just an optical illusion. If you have parallel lines and you can do this yourself at home, get three sticks, tape them together and hold them pointing right at your face and you'll notice that the ones either side look like they're coming out at a wacky angle it's just the way optics works. It's just a weird trick of the eye, but they are absolutely parallel. It's just the way it appears. So they're taking, I, the Earth looks flat, therefore it must be flat, as like the biggest foundation of, of flat Earthers, is they take all these pictures of the Earth looking pretty flat, which it does because it's so fucking big, and they say the Earth is flat. 
But then they expand upon that to obviously, I mean, we all know the moon landings are faked, right, guys? Because that's like another part of the conspiracy. NASA's in on it. Yeah. So my biggest question to them is, right, first of all, I watched a really good video about the fact that it would have been harder to fake the moon landings than to actually do it because of the fact that they did this huge, long live TV broadcast in the 60s. And they didn't have the capacity back then to actually film something and run it that long without changing reels. Like film in those days, you had to change the reel as the, you know, it gave you a certain amount of time per reel. Yeah. And the other problem is that it was all supposedly shot in slow motion because, of course, you can see them slow-mo jumping around on the moon. So you're going to need even more film. So this guy describes what kind of camera equipment they had, what kind of video recording equipment they had, and all, you know, how you would have had to splice the film, and it would have had to have been perfect, like not a single scratch or hair. You couldn't have had a flicker. You couldn't have had the, the, the join in the movies would have to be perfectly concealed and all this stuff. And it would have been almost like literally impossible given the technology of the time, whereas going to the moon actually wasn't impossible and that was quite interesting but they don't they don't believe that anyway so my questions to them are as follows first of all who's involved in this conspiracy think about it yeah everyone going back hundreds of years because sailors navigated the world they all have to be on it right all map makers throughout <laughs> history all scientists throughout history who have said and demonstrated that the earth is a globe they're all in on it and why because NASA wants to take taxpayers' money from U.S. citizens, I think, is one of the biggest things that they're saying. NASA's right. funding thing. has fallen year on year since the space race and is so powerful, Lewis, that at this point they control not just NASA, but every space agency in the world, even rival countries that would love to show the, the Americans up as liars. Russia, during the space race, even said, yeah, you did it. Like, wh who's involved in this? Such a huge conspiracy. Well, listen, I think it's more of a, a, a problem of, like, a psychological problem, right? Of people who have had no fucking education, okay? No education to the point where they can rationally think scientifically at all, right? Just being stubborn. And like, like they 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 want to believe. I like, think it, you know, I think it comes down a lot to there being no consequence to them believing in something so stupid as well. Like, it, you know what I mean? It like maybe like they think it makes idiot. them interesting or something. But they That's have true. Like, they have if you were, they go if you to were conventions fucking, about it. Well, yeah, no, no but, but it's like, but there's no consequences. No, there there's is because like, if I hear you're a flat earther, I don't want to fucking know you anymore. Why aren't people doing that? If you have a flat earther in your life, disown them, shame them, get rid of them. They're fucking morons. Yeah, but Don't what surround if, yourself what if with there's people more like to that? it though? What if they what if what if they 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 take on this role and they put out this information and stuff and they go to their seminars and conferences and stuff and what if like massive plot twist a couple of years down the line they realize that this was uh, a place where like all the major cartels were like doing deals and like dealing drugs and stuff, but like all under <laughs> all under the guys in the front oh of God. this like fucking insane society of people be, like, that nobody wanted to, to bother it. with because they they're all just such fucking Looney Tunes. And, and it's because they're harmless, right? It's not like they 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 believe yeah, yeah. that like the aliens are behind the moon and they all have to drink the fucking yeah, yeah. poison to like kill themselves. It's not like they're a suicide. There's got to be more to it, right? I say they should be investigated. Like I bet you they'll find some shit there, like big time. They've got to be if, hiding if you, something. The, this is the thing: if you got like some kind of government agency to investigate them, they would they would think that that's valid, like valid validation for what they think. Like, see, the government's onto us. They know that we know too much. And they get, like, it's a growing movement. And it does worry me because it's anti-science, it's anti-reason, and it's pro, I watched a video on YouTube, so now I know the truth. Like, yeah. they always Welcome say, to the do future, some research. <laughs> they literally just look on YouTube and there's some fucking idiot lying to them and claiming yeah. the earth is flat and doing these, this guy did this experiment. I call it an experiment. He put a camera on the end of a gate post and swung it around. It's, it's quite a popular one. You can watch it. It's hilarious. I don't know what he's trying to prove. But they, they well, think every, everybody's a genius nowadays because they read um, Wikipedia, right? Like you, like, you don't have to have any skills or expertise in any field anymore. You can just go on the internet and say that you do, and people will believe you. That you say whatever you like. There's, you know, there's no, there's no consequence to it whatsoever. It's crazy. No, but that, uh, it's uh, just going to uh, get worse. Yeah, uh, honestly, P. Flax, this isn't the first time it's happened. Like, I, I'm pretty sure a while back. Uh, there was this guy going around saying that this guy in the sky with a big 
grey beard had sex with a woman, but he was like a ghost man or something, and he could see everyone all the time, and he knew everything that everyone did. And one of one of these men was his son, and he was just like a virgin birth, and he he kind of preached all this stuff about being good to each other, and you know there was no evidence for it, but a lot of people picked up on it, and you know there were a lot of wars fought over it, and a lot of people have died. It's I think it's still sticking around today. Well, you're talking about Santa Claus, right? Yes, yeah. that's okay. the one. Yeah, because yeah. uh, the elves were the, a his couple children. of people didn't get their presents. They got really mad. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a government investigation into it and you know he's t- that only only caused more you know uh, big corporations getting involved like to hide the profits like you know uh big big coca-cola you know they <laughs> yeah. they're they're involved yeah coca-cola in, is the root of all evil big coke for sure. is in on it it's yeah. santa um it's the myth, i don't know it, just, it just worries me because that i could know someone and be friends with them and they they suddenly say to me hey how about that flat earth, huh? Pretty interesting. And I'm just, I, I don't know what I'd do in that situation. I, I, I'm worried that it's going to become a thing and that there's going to be a fucking... If it was somebody I knew, I would definitely just think they were trolling. Like, I would just brush it off. I wouldn't well, you would be assume slightly so, worried. Well, but I, yeah. I've known people, friends of mine, who suddenly started telling me that 9-11 was an inside job in all seriousness. And I'm just thinking, what? what who are you? Like, how, how desperate are you to be in on something? I mean, it's, I, one, it's I, one, I one of those things where, like... I just worry that part of the isolation of the internet has led to this being a place to feel like you belong and you're in on the you're in the club and you understand yeah. and you and your buddies are the only ones who are out there who've got to spread the truth. I have all this information. I know all of the conspiracies. And you know what? I'm going to do nothing about it. <laughs> I'm going yeah, to gonna make do? no no impact on this whatsoever. But I'm going to sit here and I'm going to know... <laughs> But, but then you sake. have stuff like that guy. Do you remember Pizzagate? You remember Pizzagate, this thing where fucking Infowars, which is an appalling website, and 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 uh, I, they they call themselves a news source, but I think, but they're not. They said that there was this pizza parlor in Washington that was like the epicenter of this pedophile ring that all the politicians ran on, and it was like satanic and all the rest of it. The problem is this fucking guy went in there with an assault rifle and shot the place up and he was like threatening to kill people and he he was there to uncover the pedo ring and rescue the kids. This is dangerous stuff. People yeah, it out is. there that's, believe that's where these it, yeah, things. It crosses over and gets pretty and I, dangerous. I just think it is dangerous to fill people's heads with this junk and for it to just go untested as, oh, they're just a bunch of kooks. That's how all this shit starts. And I, I just, I'm really fearful that this kind of shit, if there's that many people out there that can be conned by this, where does it end? It's going to get I, I, worse. I agree. Like, listen, it's like anti-vaxxing, right? We should get all the anti-vaxxers together and make them live in a community. And then what the hell happen is some horrible diseases will get out and just kill them all. Right? We need to seed. <laughs> okay. We need to seed gotta, the conspiracy you theories. You've got to teach them by example. Okay. What we need to do is we need to tell the flat earthers that if, if like, if they fucking jump really high, okay, or if they hang themselves upside down, I don't know, for like 10 put, minutes put a day. Put them on a forced march to the edge of the world and let's see because it's got to end push somewhere them right off. so you know they, they, yeah, they like, believe it ends in a big ice wall right and i'm not joking this is part of it it keeps the water from falling over the edge because they also get this don't believe in gravity right yeah so there's this huge ice wall and if you try to approach it and I, this is this is all from fucking verbatim from them i'm not making this up and I quote, the UN will turn you back with their vast fleet of ships. Right. So someone calculated how many ships you would need to patrol the edge of the earth. And it's like thousands and thousands and thousands of ships. Does the UN even have any ships? Oh, no, of course God. it doesn't fucking it's... have 10,000 ships or however many you'd uh, need. Why do these people not have anything better to do with their time? How do they have so much time? But think of this, you'd need everyone that's working on those ships, all the crews, all the captains, and when they die or retire, you need to replace them. You get, how do you advertise for that? Yeah. The UN needs people for a top secret project, <laughs> and if you ever breathe a word of it, we'll for kill you. For the ice you. wall blockade. <laughs> It's just incredible that they honestly think that anyone could do this in the world throughout history. So so as I said, right, I think we need to just not, we don't need to round them up or do anything like that because that's crazy. That that won't convince them. What we need to do is we need to just insidiously seed into their theories, even bonkersy things like that they, they believe that, like if it was like, I don't know, like 
thing is, like, even if this happened in caveman times, right, and and all the, the one tribe got the idea that, you know, these specific berries would make you have a bigger dick, right, or bigger erection or whatever, and then people would be fucking cramming those berries down and that idea would spread. What are but, these um, berries called? But, just, but uh, these, <laughs> I actually got a pencil on a piece of paper here. Hang on a second. Call them the uh, dick berries. You, did, you didn't uh, specify the name of the berries. I just wanted to double check to... Uh, go, I'll go on a fact checking exercise You might know after them the as podcast. deadly nightshade. Dead, um, oh, deadly nightshade. Okay. So go and go... If you grab... If you have to swallow like a whole load of them at once, okay? Right. And if you feel a bit sick or anything, just, just make sure you just hold that, force that down. Just okay? jerk off okay. and you'll be fine. Just jerk off. Because <laughs> <laughs> that means it's kicking Some in. Some guy dying of deadly nightshade poisoning <laughs> and masturbating in a cave somewhere right now. Can you imagine what? a bigger dick? My dick is terrible. Small. It's small. Can you imagine the archaeologists fucking digging that up? It's like, today we're investigating an old tomb found when, from caveman times. It appears that all the men of the tribe jerked themselves <laughs> off to death <laughs> while simultaneously dying of deadly nightshade poison. They've also drawn on the wall these primitive cave paintings that show that the earth is in fact flat, in their opinion. And the edge is... Uh. Blocked by a wall of ice and thousands of <laughs> seaborne vessels. <laughs> What's the point, though? Like that—that's the thing. It's, if it's a if it, if it's a conspiracy theory, usually it comes back to some sort of profit or something, right? Where's right. the money in so, blockading? As an I understand ice wall? it, as I understand it, it's because NASA is stealing, stealing taxpayers' dollars, right? So they're all in on the con, which is like. Again, I go back to the fact that other space agencies around the world would all have to be in on this, and none of them would ever have spoken about it, because there's never anyone or any evidence that this is a thing, but they still believe it, right? So that's part one. Part two, like I said, is religious people who think that this is a satanic plot, and all these Satanists out there are keeping the, the secret. Because obviously, if the Earth was a fucking plate on some pillars, we'd all suddenly say, well, I guess there is a God, because this is fucking bonkers and doesn't make any sense, so they're trying to keep the word of God like suppressed uh, by saying the earth is a globe, and because the Bible doesn't mention that, it would, it would prove the Bible wrong. Even though Man. the Bible barely mentions the fucking shape of the planet. God, there's the door! Fuck me! Fuck, I, I, I'd love it if they just dug really, really deep into the earth, and they unleashed some sort of like... Uh, terror from the deep like there's just it turns out all this time there's this massive fucking snake living in the center of the earth just waiting to be like you know let out of its prison or whatever and man people would be so shocked wouldn't they because like all this stuff that we think we know about like life and the universe and planets and stuff like that and then all of a sudden just a gigantic banner in the works like what is this big fucking snake and it wants to like devour all of humanity and stuff and nobody saw it coming i mean part of me hopes that that happens someday but the other part of me obviously thinks you know let's leave that buried evil uh buried forever because i don't want to die like uh, from that i you know i just want to get old and die naturally sort of thing you know right rather than be killed by a giant snake a from dormant, a world a hole. dormant evil snake that's huge too like i'm talking like the biggest snake you've ever seen sort of thing like a terrifying lava snake well how big is it like huge like you know it 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 coils around like the core of the earth that's where it gets its power from holy shit so yeah. like, m like heat power m yeah. mi miles in size yeah oh yeah huge yeah okay but nobody wow. knows you know everybody's like oh there's flat and oh uh, nobody went to the moon and nah, there's no life outside of the solar system and blah 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 and then all of a sudden bam gigantic lava snake that just lives in the center of the earth and nobody saw it coming Fuck, I, I, it I'd would shatter so many conspiracy theories and stuff right what's its like, name has it got a name? Steve. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Steve and Gary. Gary the Steve and Gary. Lava Gary, snake. Gary the snake. <laughs> so, guys, like, love the snake. Just hey, wanted uh, to say hi. Hey, I've been uh, dormant for quite some time, uh, but, but I'm, I'm, back. I'm gonna ready to wreak havoc across the world and <laughs> fuck your conspiracy theories as well. I bet you never saw me coming. How deep do you think that a hole has ever been drilled? 
Oh, uh, deep. isn't it? Isn't it like ten kilometers or something like that? Jesus. Yeah, it's about it's it's almost it's seven and a half miles deep. So I guess it's about ten kilometers. I think it's Damn, in Russia. Perfect. They they drilled really it really is. really deep. Well, right? I thank all those people for their service because that is not my journey, man. I do not. I, one of my worst fears is getting uh, caught in a mine in a oh, cave. Oh man, same. Like I'm. Jeez. They didn't fucking do it themselves. They didn't like go down there and dig it out like Minecraft. No, it was like a It was done by hole, a machine. Right? But carry on, Sips. Well, Did you fuck, think somebody they had to be down, down there, there at some no, point. No, no, well, down there. there? What's the well, I guess the pressure down there is gonna be so fucking high I too, think it's right? The heat, yeah, actually. it's fucking it gets boiling. Quite hot down there as well, yeah. So do you think okay, here's a question, P Flex. Do you think this is a conspiracy, that there are any people who actually believe in conspiracies, or is it just angry people? who are watching all those YouTube videos. Because you see these YouTube videos with hundreds and hundreds of likes. Is it just like one or two people? Like, like you know, and hundreds of thousands of angry people watching them. No, I don't. I, I, I don't think it's necessarily angry people. An awful lot of people are angry. If the symbol, if the only factor that joined them all together was they're angry, then maybe, but I mean, that, that, that so who's, doesn't it also, cover it. So who's more angry, right? Because angry nutcases who believe in Flat Earth and Nightshade dickberries, um, those kind of nutcases are very angry about their belief, okay? They're not like quietly, secretly, they're, they're very shouty. Why, because right? they think they've been duped? I, is that why they're angry? I don't know, but the, but it's weird, isn't it? So are there lots of people who believe in these things that quietly believe yeah, yeah, in them? Yeah, they're, they're, they're not like furious. I mean, you're not seeing protests saying, we want the truth now, outside the fucking White House and everything. It's like they're, they're not Well, they, they, they don't need the truth. They already ha- hold the truth, right? So they right, don't... but if you held the truth, Sips, to something like that... Cockberries. And you were really serious about it, wouldn't you be an organized movement that gets together, like Occupy Wall Street or something? Oh, and I would, and, I, I would have something. to give a shit in the first place. Right, I'm like saying I... not you, obviously. I mean, you yeah, never yeah. would, but I'm saying like a, a regular <laughs> person, right? That Not would go you. out. Yeah, Sips isn't Sips isn't a protest. If you found on. the secret to ultimate cockberries, you wouldn't tell anyone. You'd keep that secret. You'd be like, huh, interesting. Hmm, kind of cool. Kind of cool. That's I'll cool. make use I'm of these. Go kick a dog. How about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll blow, I'll blow a guy's head off right after, but the dog kicking, obviously the bad one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't kick a dog! Yeah, that's weird, actually. I blew a dude's head off with a shotgun. Yeah. We all just went, oh, that's gross. But yeah, I'm sure if I... I mean, when I when I killed my horse by mistake, everybody was furious. <laughs> I drowned mine by mistake. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. You told me that. <laughs> Oh fuck! It turns out that Jesus horses Christ. don't don't go over waterfalls very well. Well, I think that's just something you experience, isn't it? It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's just part of growing up, really. Yeah, he isn't didn't it? seem to mind. He was like fully compliant all the way to the end. He was just like, yeah, yeah, okay. it's a good horse. We're doing this. We trusted you. I trust you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of hit a log on the way down. You know, you know um, <laughs> I was watching uh, uh, Georgia. You know, G Star, G Star uh, Games. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. she posted a clip where she's driving. She's driving, riding her horse through the train station. It's the kind of stupid shit I do. Ride the horse places. You're obviously not meant to ride the horse. She hits a bunch of, like, boxes, and she goes over the edge of the horse, and I think, oh, here we go. And a train was passing at that exact moment. It just fucking took her out. (laughs) It's just like, I I love the idea of crashing. Crashing in Red Dead is, you can feel it in your bones. Like, when you hit a a tree real good, and your horse goes sliding down I think that my new horse, since the drowned horse, my new horse seems to crash a whole lot more. I don't know. Like, some of them seem clumsier than others somehow. I think like, it's the... Um, I never had these problems with my other horse. What kind of horse. horse is it? I don't know. It just... The game, I think, felt bad for me and randomly gave me a horse that I <laughs> haven't even stabled yet or anything. If you get the horses that have the twitchy kind of, like, racing handling and stuff... You crash a lot more because they turn real quick and it's easy to bash into something. Equally, yeah. the really slow horses can't respond in time. That's why you've got to use the drift move. The drift move. The drift oh, move yeah. is sick. You gotta dr- I'm drifting drift through crowds in Saint Denis and then obviously you run over a, a dog and everybody starts shooting you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, they go nuts about that. They they love dogs. That puppy. What a boy. <laughs> so so, are you, so are you, are you gonna, you're going to give him back? I mean, Chewbacca, like, does that mean that Chewbacca is now going to be picked up by some other family and yeah. torment them and, and ruin and their quite life? quite honestly, lied to, because, not not by us, but by this these people that, that handle this dog, because they told my mum, very good with kids, great with other pets, he's a real family pet, he's No, fantastic. you know what's going to happen? He's going to go to this new family, and he's going to just be, the new family are going to be like, oh, he's the best dog, he's, he's so good, he's... 
he's never bitten anybody and he never barks and he always shits outside and stuff and and just to make you feel like an asshole like he's going to be awarded dog of the year that's the real Crufts. conspiracy yeah. in this world isn't yeah. it it's like other people's like perceptions and opinions conflicting with your own experiences and making you feel like some sort of asshole right that's <laughs> Ladies That's and gentlemen, your dog of the year, Chewbacca. He's such a good boy. <laughs> your whole family just sitting there with <laughs> open mouths, mouths what? wide open. What? He's had a this hard life. His, his last owners were frightful old woman. She would beat him daily and feed him naught but gruel and ground up rocks and dick berries, whatever they are. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he's a piece of shit. And uh, I mean, I, you know, I feel bad for him because he's not had the best of starts. Not because he was he's never been mistreated. It's just that everyone that had him realized he was an asshole and moved him on. And I, I feel bad in a way that he's just a shit dog. But yeah. you have to ask the question, what is a pet if it makes you feel bad? And your life has to be structured around how awful this animal is. And the things you want to do with your remaining years, because my mum's getting on, is spend time with her grandkids and come and see well, us. Not well, have okay. to worry about this miserable fucking dog. Okay, well, listen to this, right? So first of all... Like fifty percent of the fucking like fauna or whatever on Earth has has been like made extinct since like every year. So it's yeah, really, yeah. the statistics on us making stuff extinct on Earth is nuts. We're killing animals by the boatload yeah. every fucking day, right? Just and everyone's cool with it, right? Yeah. Well, some people aren't cool with it. I'm not cool with it, but but don't seems kick like a the government and most of the regulations of blah, 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 they're cool with it, right? They're cool with just killing loads of all sorts of different animals, birds and cats and wild shit, anything that's out there in nature is fair. Game. On the rest, on the other side of the scale, everything else, all the other animals, we're fucking eating them. We're we're <laughs> breeding them in tiny little pens over and over again, feeding them like fucking off them themselves. Like like you know, a lot of the time we were grinding up dead fucking bits of the animals that we ate and feeding them back to the animals. That's how we got like BSE. That's mm-hmm. a relatively recent thing. I was looking at the fucking fish food for Duncan's fish. Fish food's made of fucking fish. Really? Are you okay with that? I don't know. Well, yeah. I, well, uh, fish kind of tend to eat like yeah, other fish. Yeah, they do eat each though. other, right? Yeah. That's a fucking liability waiting to happen. I don't I mean, know. I'm you, sure that's fine. Feed, anyway. What are you going to feed a whale in captivity? Other there fish, yeah. have whales right? in captivity. What are no, you I'm just... I, hypothetically. <laughs> I'm saying also, hypothetically. So, that's a big tank. So that's the... That's, so, the so, second thing, we're, f- we're, we're farming well, like... Well, fuck, like, they did f- it in Star Trek, Flax. Something like... He got it on a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Some like insane amount of, of, of land on Earth is like handed over to breeding cows. Like something like forty percent of the U.S. land is is for like for like raising animals that we're gonna kill. Okay. Yeah. And then and then they're producing huge amounts of greenhouse gases and stuff because everyone's eating meat and everyone has to have meat for every meal. Not and, huge and meat amounts. And meat. Like, like number three, like obviously big, but... zoos. So we're putting the rest of the fucking animals in zoos to look at and stare at in tiny cages sometimes. You know, some of these other countries, I went to uh, some places when I was away in um, in Japan and it was like, man, it was like super cruel looking at some of these these situations. And I was really upset by some of the stuff I saw. And then, and it's pretty bad in some countries. I'm sure it is. And I'm sure it's good like in some countries and stuff. I'm sure it's balanced. So anyway, that's the third thing we do with animals. The fourth thing we do with animals is we're keeping them as pets and we're breeding them until they're more mutated and messed up and can't breathe properly. Like like bulldogs and other things. They're so inbred and messed up that they can't function on their own, right? These animals that we have as pets, you can't release them into the wild because they can't live out there. They're not native anymore. They're not yeah. foxes or wolves or, you know, whatever they used to be. They're like the birds, even birds, like, you know, a lot of the time they won't even like try and fly away because they can't live. Or if they did escape from a cage, they just die instantly. You can't like just release a parrot out the window. It'll fucking get no. killed. And then the icing on the cake is that we also create pornography with them in small amounts. <laughs> so literally actually fucking them from every angle. So, okay, in in the broadest scheme of things, if the very least they can do is like... It's like fucking be nice to you and your pet that you're having that you've mutated and grown in your fucking house. I mean, sure, they probably they, he probably wants to get you back for a start, right? He's like thinking, look at what you've done. I'm <laughs> sick of it. He's given you a horrible time. He's thinking, nah, Joe, you want me to be nice to you? Like that. After all this, I'm not going to be nice to you. I'm going to be a little bitch. I'm going to be a little cunt. You're I'm humanizing be the, worst the dog. Pet it's, they ever. don't think like that. They don't okay. want to, they just want to eat and go for walkies. Yeah, well, I think he knows that. So so okay, <laughs> and so let's let's just let's just round that off but by saying how about what why why is it so bad 
if you had that dog put down. At the first sight of him being a little cunt, you were like, hey, dog, <laughs> do you know what? Fuck you. Bam. Here's a little injection. You're dead. I'll fucking throw you in the bin. Man, nobody right? wants to Get shoulder that responsibility. How do you no, tell your kids about, that? I mean, I'll I, fucking I, do it. I realise how awful we that sounds. We killed the dog. Okay, I realise how awful that sounds, but... You're the gu- we're eating animals all the time. You're probably this is eating a fucking ham sandwich, right? Like, I mean, we're we're doing all sorts of horrible stuff to animals across the world. You know why? Why not? Like, yeah, if he's being a little bit horrible thing, just fucking kick it to death. Just kick yeah. it to death. Who cares? Kick it to death. Kick it to death. Yeah, and if you can't do it in real life, there's a game called Red Dead Redemption 2, which will um, allow you to Fulfill do that. Fulfill all your dog-kicking fantasies. Literally fill your boots right up to the brim with that. It, it, no it is weird, but but that's that's morality, isn't it? That's the way people make moral judgments, because it's like, yeah, all right, there's all kinds of massive, horrible shit going on, but you still got to mind your corner. Like we have it. to start somewhere with fixing this stuff, and it starts at home, right? It starts at like you know figuring out what, what is wrong with it this dog. With this podcast, you're That's making where it you're making like three arguments at once. One, something must be done to save the animals. Two, who really cares about this animal though? And three. Perian should kill this animal. I'm making three arguments once because it's a complex thing. Yeah, who cares about badgers? Yeah, but you've made it complex. You've made it complex. I'm a complex person. This is the kind of stuff. I like having balanced arguments on both sides. It's not balanced on both sides if you're making both sides as part of one argument. It doesn't make sense. You're saying What's one more we've dog? got to save the animals, What's these poor animals. Dog? We What's put... one more dog dead? <laughs> one more dead <laughs> dog. Sad. It's a bad <laughs> argument. Oh, God. Bring him here, I'll kick him for you. I'm Lewis Brindley, <laughs> I'm representing both pro and con at the same time. <laughs> this may be a confusing <laughs> argument for some of you, but it has to be made. Now, listen up. I'm right in the middle. I'm for and against dog killing. Turns There's not enough space. Plenty you want to save your grads? Kill dogs, he's save grads. Kill dogs, save grads. Kill dogs. He's an animal rights <sighs> centrist, basically. He's, he's, yeah, he can't he's on the quite. Fence. Can't quite come uh, would in. You, what, would, you, would you have picked the um, the dog or the gran in the AI driving thing, P. P. Flax? Save the fucking human being. Yeah, the human being must be saved. Every <laughs> if, a, if a dog, I mean, the, what I put it down to is this: if an animal dies, it, it's sad, right? It's it's sad unless it's delicious, in which case that's a good thing. But <laughs> it's happy. If, if, if they, if if you are <laughs> honestly saying that you would. People are horrible. I'd rather kill people. You're an example of why people are horrible. You're killing well, we a complete stranger to save an animal that's going to live 10 years. What and if when it's gl- gone, the only people that will miss it will be its owners. This grandmother has a, a What if legacy. that granny has like a chronic condition, okay? She's crossing the road. I don't and she's care felt- if she has an hour to live. She deserves she's, that hour she's more she's than the dog. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, hear me out. I've okay? heard you out. For years now, she's just been <laughs> battling. She's just had this chronic pain in her wherever. Like, I, she's, she's got a sore pussy. She's just like... I knew you were going to say that. Oh, I, can't. I knew the pussy I, was going to come every out. Every single day is a living hell for me. I, but I still have to go and do stuff. I have to go to the grocery store. And she's walking across the street and out of the corner of her eye. And she pauses there because she's she hoping a car truck will and hit she's her. Like, and, and, and for a very brief... You know, fraction of a millisecond, the thought enters her mind. I hope this guy just plows me over. I, I hope. I hope this is it. I don't have to deal with this pain or anything anymore. And then he swerves and hits the dog instead. <laughs> <laughs> her dog. <laughs> and the only thing that was giving her any pleasure in life. Her, her last such companion. a good dog. That yappy little shit. He terrorized her grandchildren, who she hates. Oh, this dog would really take the burn off of my pussy condition. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Christ! It's such a soft tongue. Jesus wept. End it. End it. <laughs> All right, that is the end of this podcast. Oh, uh, that is enough. <laughs> yeah, for today. we're done. Uh, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Some fucked up shit. Oh, uh, oh God. Oh, anyway, um, enjoy quick. yourself. Stay frosty. Thanks very much, as usual, for listening, I guess. And uh, hopefully, this one will actually make it out it'll onto make. the interwebs. It'll with make it. Anyway. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.